If you are looking to grow on Instagram in 2022, this video is going to share with you some of the most common mistakes that I see people making on Instagram and why they are not growing. And of course, I'm going to tell you how to avoid those mistakes. I've helped people grow on Instagram from almost no views to over 24,000 views in 30 days or less. And it's just a few key things that we are implementing over there and it's making a huge difference. I'm Anita, a video marketing strategist, and I help business owners just like you get more visible through video content that converts. Hit the like button if you like content that helps you grow your business. And while you're down there, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. That tells YouTube that you have a business and you would like to see more business content. All right, mistake number one, Instagram users who are not using video. Now, hear me out. <laughs> Adam Masari in June of 2021 came out and said that Instagram was going to really focus on video and entertainment content. And what we have seen in the last year is that Instagram has done exactly that. Video has become the predominant content on that platform. And Instagram even says we are no longer a photo sharing app. Now, does this mean you cannot share photos? Absolutely not. You can share your photos. However, you must be using video if you want to grow. Now, we know that Instagram Reels is the best way for you to reach new accounts as that is what Instagram is actually putting out to new accounts. And your best nurturing content is going to be videos on your feed, copy and images or graphics, and then information that you put in your stories, whether that be video or graphics. However, video is the highest converting content on every platform. It allows for people to like, know, and trust you the fastest. And so the more video that you can use, the better. If you're watching this and you're thinking, where can I learn about how to use video for my business or practice, get feedback, I want you to join Video Marketing for Entrepreneurs with FDS Creatives. It's my free Facebook group where I help business owners just like you implement some of the things I'm sharing here on my channel. Mistake number two, buying followers. Listen. It is better for you to have a couple of hundred followers who are raving fans rather than hundreds of thousands of followers who are not interested in what it is that you are saying or selling. Because thousands of people who are not engaged in your content are going to be the thousands of people who are not buying your offers. And one of the things that one of my coaches recently said to me is, I don't understand how you're making so much money when you have so few followers across the different platforms. The reality is I make strategic content to attract my ideal client. I don't need hundreds of thousands of followers. What I need is people just like you who are interested in growing their businesses. Thank you so much for being here. Mistake number three that I see business owners making on Instagram is they are posting two to three static posts on Instagram and assuming that that's going to really grow their account. Now, I see this in Facebook business groups all the time where business owners are looking for a social media manager to make two to three posts a week, either with their photos or with quote graphics or images that the virtual assistant or social media manager makes. And I'm not against social media management or a virtual assistant. They can be super great to help you in your business. But here's why that doesn't work. Two to three posts a week is not going to grow your account. In fact, it won't even keep your account stable. Instagram is looking for you to use feed posts to really nurture an audience as well as nurture them through your stories. Now, only about 10% of your audience is going to see your stories and only a little bit more than that is going to see your feed posts. So you're going to want to make multiple posts so that you have a chance of getting someone to see your post. Now, if you're attracting new accounts, you want to be using reels. That is absolutely where the reach is coming from. But those two to three posts a week, they just are not going to cut it. Mistake number four is not using hashtags. Now, I see people often saying, well, I don't think we really need to use hashtags. And there's a lot of debate on how many hashtags you need to use. But here's really the problem with people using hashtags that I see when they come to me. They're often using hashtags trying to identify the content that they provide. For instance, let's say that you are a, a real estate agent and you might use hashtags like realtor, real estate, um, properties, trying to share that. But what you really want to use hashtags for are going to be related to who you want to find your account like home buyers or <laughs> looking for a house. Hashtags that are related to people who would want to find you and use your services. All right, mistake number five that I see business owners making is creating boring content. 
What grows accounts the best more than anything is creating engaging content that provides value. How people are going to know that you can help them is that you provide valuable content, they are helped by that content, and then they don't need convincing that you can help them through paid offers because you've already helped them. So they're going to believe you. To provide valuable content, you need to be really clear about who you're talking to, who is your ideal client, and what are they going to find valuable for you to share in your content. Now, to talk more about that key content and how we want to share We really need to talk about a parasocial relationship and the importance of that for you and your business. If you're interested in learning more about that, I want you to click the video on the screen. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.